Hello guys, this is going to be a first look at Railroad Corporation. It has come out today, I am super excited, and um, I've been waiting for this for some time, um, ever since I saw it on Steam, and I'm, I'm super excited to show it to you guys, and I'm going to go through the tutorial first, and maybe a little bit of the first mission, just to give you guys a, a, just a view of what's going on here with it. It is uh, quite unlike um, any other railroad game. Well, not any other railroad game, but it has its own unique spin on things, I think. So I did go through the uh, tutorial just a little bit earlier, and I did start the first mission, but I was like, well, you know what? If I'm going to do this, I'm going to put a video out, and here we are. So um, in this, uh, we have our objectives here on the side. And our first objective here is to connect Baltimore to Piedmont uh, with Railroad. So we're gonna do that. So Baltimore here, and to do that is really is really pretty simple. Um, you just click on the Railroad button here. Um, the track lane in this is pretty, pretty simple. You can just go all the way and connect, like so you start at your station here and you just go all the way to connect to this station place marker, I guess it is, um, to a dummy station, that's what they call it. And you can do that, and depending on how you come in, it kind of turns towards the railroad, or whatever you're trying to do. You can also do it in pieces. So if I wanted to say that there was a little bit of a steep mountain here, I can just kind of go in and do it in pieces like this, and control it, uh, have control of it that way. There you go. And it seems like it's 120 miles per hour, I guess that is. Uh, so it's pretty flat. I think that's what that means. Um, and once you uh, lay your track, you can go ahead and confirm it. And there it is. Pretty new track. Going from Baltimore to Piedmont. All right. And the next thing, um, it's saying to escape to get out of track lane mode. And then go into our buy a locomotive. Now, Mine a locomotive, you just buy the locomotive and then you give it orders. And to give it orders, um, you have, uh, looking at Baltimore here, you have these things in red, which is the things they demand. Um, you also have an industry, a small farm here, um, that will take um, grain and produce meat. So we have passengers, so to go. And, and once the um, once the farm starts producing meat, we'll have meat to deliver elsewhere as well. So the green is what they're producing, or their um, that that is there waiting for trains to take them, and the red is for um, uh, th what they demand. So supplying green, red demand. All right. So in this, and this is kind of what that's telling you up there. And once we buy a train. You can locomotive T1 route setup. You can say, okay, in this station here, we want to take two here uh, wheat. Um, I think we can take up to three here, but if you do four, it'll say train is overloaded. So then you can just take it off. I'm gonna do. I'll do three. Um, I think that should be fine. And then we're gonna pick up three grain from there from Piedmont, and then we will. Uh, bring it over here to Baltimore and to do that you just say I want to Unload those three there just like that and then you apply and then your train is off and going And it's a cute little train isn't it <laughs> and to follow it you just and I had to find this because it's not too obvious But I had to just click on the portrait here and you can follow it in real time. I don't think there's any um you can't ride them in, in like in most other, um, well, not most other, but a lot of other uh, train games. Like you can ride them uh, first person, but you can't in this that, that I know of. Uh, maybe I just haven't found the button. I don't know. Anyways, he's T1 here is going to pick up grain here. And the, <laughs> I love the little animations and the graphics in here. So they got this little farm. And once it picks up, it'll say, "Okay, the the station needs more, so that it'll start it'll start farming the wheat." <laughs> Isn't that cool? It's cute. 
and and all the industries have kind of like that. So far, I've seen they have this neat little you know animation and whatnot. Okay, so T1 is going, and he's going to office slow. So I'm going to speed this up. At least up until there. Maybe even speed it up a little bit until he gets to Baltimore. Just like that. I don't know if there's any shortcut keys to the speed thing. I'm sure there are. To the game speed, but... Uh, I don't know. I hovered over it. I hover over it, and it didn't really tell me, so... But this is full speed at the moment, so it's pretty slow. But he's carrying three. I think if he was carrying two, it'd be a little bit quicker. All right, and this is our list of trains here. And then we got a list of buildings owned by us, and then uh, current objectives. And there we go. So um, that was simple enough, right? And now to do the rest of the tutorial we just need to do passenger transport from Cumberland to Baltimore so Baltimore and we'll do this one here so wood supply contract and there's what they're explaining is that in that city so if you see um, it demands wood but it demands this little uh, dollar sign here that means that is the quest wood so that we have to satisfy that one, and then we can start satisfying this one. So, and that's what that that confused the heck out of me the first time. I'm like, well, I'm delivering wood to this town, um, but it's not it's not um, doing the mission. It's not progressing the mission objective. I was really confused, and then I found out. So, anyways, okay. So the first one is passenger transport. So what we're gonna do, and I don't know about signals in this game, and I don't know about traffic control and things like that. Um, so I've yet to really do anything with that, but for the most part, um, I think like the the train tracks are blocks, like each each train track up into the station, like it'll be a block or something like that. So um, what happens is, so if a train's on the track. And something over here in the station is waiting to go on that track. It'll wait till that train comes back, or it'll wait till that train is in either of the stations. So if there's a train here in Baltimore waiting to go up to Cumberland, and there was something going up to Cumberland this way, so there's another train going this way, it this train here in Baltimore would wait until it was in the station to go up. And now that other train that the first train would wait for that second train to go and hit the station to go back. So I don't, I, I hope I explained that right, but um, that's what I observed so far. And I haven't seen any signaling yet, so I don't know traffic control. So we'll have to discover that uh, both on the same, at the same time, uh, together. <laughs> so anyways, okay, so we have the track and can confirm that. And we'll go ahead and buy a train. Right. Now, to do passengers between Baltimore, I say because we have passengers in Baltimore and we have passengers here in uh, Cumberland, so we can we can deliver passengers both ways. So we're going to pick up passengers here. We'll pick up, I think, two. I think three cars would be... No, we can do three. Maybe four would be too much. There we go. Four would be too much. So three passenger cars from Baltimore, and we'll go up here and we'll drop them off here so the three passengers will be there so and then we'll pick up three passengers from Cumberland and bring them back to Baltimore oops nope wrong one and bring them back the red one not the green one <laughs> one two three and apply and there we go so now we got train two and there he is like <laughs> That's, I love these. These are pretty cool. It's a sleeping car. <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm just gonna slow this down just a bit. Don't need it that fast. I find the middle speed to be the best so far. So it's not too fast, not too slow. So it's kind of in the middle. All right, so there's that. So that will satisfy this uh, passenger transport. Now the wood supply contract. So. The wood supply contract is from Frederick here with the logging camp. 
to Cumberland. Um, and we're going to have to go through this mountain. And I don't see any benefits. Like, we're going to, it's going to cost a bit of money to go through this mountain, but I don't see any benefits to go all the way around this way. So I'm just going to go through the mountain. I'm just going to go the, the most direct routes. So let's lay track. Select it here. And I think we can just kind of. Yeah, I want a little bit less. Let's see what that does. Let's see where that's going. Because I don't want it to go through too much of the mountain, but I, maybe like this. Yeah, so this this little small this little small passageway, so it won't be too 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 expensive. Yeah, it looks good to me, right? Yeah, that'll work. What I do like about this game, um, by the way, is that we don't have to put down stations. Like the stations are kind of already there. Like at each point, like um, you see the, the little dummy station. So once we connect track, we connect it to the station. And the station has everything like the refueling and the repairs and things like that. But we'll get into that in, in, the, uh, in the next, uh, in the first scenario. All right, so we have a track to get the wood. So let's go ahead and buy our next train. That'll be T3. I can't help thinking about the Terminator, like T1, T2, T3. Um, for some reason, I don't know if you can rename these. I think you probably can. I'm not sure where. I haven't found it yet. So, anyways, we're taking wood logs, I should say, logs. So we'll take one, two, three is too many. So just two. And we will go to Cumberland again for the um, for the mission. We need to do the one with the little dollar sign here, and we'll do that one first. And then once that one's satisfied, we'll switch it over to that, to the uh, normal. All right. So there we go. All right. So now we have, let's see. So we have T2. And this was uh, kind of what I was saying. So T3 here, train three, will wait for T2 to come and park at the station. And then T3 will come out. So let's speed this up a little bit. It's going super slow. But yeah, so the track is like, you know, it's a, it's a section of track. It's a, uh, it's a block of track. So I don't know about signals. Again, whatever. So again, so you see T2 went in, T3 came out. Now T2 will come out if traffic on the track is going the same way. Ooh, T3 is on a mission. <laughs> He's going pretty quick. He doesn't have any cargo. That's probably why. All right. And again, I, I love these little animations. So like when T3 here, train comes and delivers the, uh, let's slow it down just a smidge. When T3 comes and delivers this wood, this um, sawmill here will start uh, animating. Oh, well, <laughs> it would have, but that completed the tutorial. Okay, right. So on to uh, the first mission, and I think we'll, I'm, I, I hope it's not too long. I'm, I Like I said, I played through a little bit of it, but we'll see. Okay, so and the first thing, um, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my name. That's my pseudonym there. Let's change it to Danny Code. And, uh, what do I look like? I don't look like that guy, that's for sure. Um, don't look like her. That cat's kind of like me. Bow ties are cool. Bonus points if you get that reference. If you get that reference, put it down in the comments where that came from, please. Bow ties are cool. So, um, and you got three choices here. So you got Picket, which gives you an extra 10,000 at the beginning of each mission. Um, he looks... <laughs> Uh, scary. Anyways, Kane Eastern Railway, which gives you an extra locomotive at each before each mission, and then Harrington's uh, Railroad, which gives you uh, so your lane track costs ten percent less. I think I, I'm you know I'm gonna go for this guy. I think because I like that. I I'm gonna I'm gonna be putting a lot of tracks in, so I, I think this is gonna be the way to go. All right, so we'll do that. All right, so, and I read this before, but basically um, the goal of this mission, the main goal is to deliver 
iron to Cincinnati and um, so we, but we have to develop it we have to find an iron mine or not an iron mine well iron mine and a coal mine deliver the iron and coal to a steelworks or an ironworks and then um, and then go ahead and deliver it so that's basically what we have it's also say it's also talking about the um, the overdraft so if you go over 50,000 on overdraft um, I don't think they have loans in this so they have just like an overdraft we have so, so much money at the beginning of the game and then we have we can go under so much but as soon as you go under too much and I found this out the hard way um, you lose the scenario basically so that's that we have an overdraft um, and uh, the more objectives we do um, the more experience we'll gain now I don't know what experience really does in the greater scheme of things um, but I assume that it's a good thing so all right so let's start let's get in so the first thing here is I'm, I'm gonna pause it take a look around so we have um, a few missions to do first um, iron and coal delivery which um, we need to deliver those to if I remember correctly not New Orleans to oh you know what and I can actually they have these you can clickable things in the mission so there we go so that makes it super easy um, and here is our steel meal that's neat oh, look at that that's so cool I love it that's <laughs> wild okay so we have to deliver coal and iron ore to uh, Barnstable town and we start off in Bowling Green so this is where our home office is this is where the trains will come out of first and um, we have a few other towns here and things like that so first thing I want to do is I want to make sure I have enough money so I want enough to progress so I'm not gonna do um, I found this out the hard way too as I went straight for the goals um, but uh, I should have went and started trying to make more money <laughs> okay so Barnstable and then we have yeah so we have a farm here and some iron ore here so we can deliver iron ore from here to Barnstable and then we have a coal mine here as well so that's that's pretty close so I think that's the plan okay so to start with what we're gonna do is look at what Bowling Green needs Bowling Green needs passengers um, click out of there and it needs um, I mean I'm sorry okay so it needs passengers it needs uh, grain uh, we can actually do uh, coal here and also logs and then there we can we can deliver logs to the sawmill as well and also needs meat and passengers it is supplying some passengers and once we start delivering um, logs we can get uh, planks I guess lumber logs and lumber um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is and this is pretty standard in most railroad games isn't it um, just get your passenger passenger trains up and running making you money okay so I'm going to we have Clarksville here what they have passengers and we have Bowling Green and they have passengers as well so that's what we're gonna do first let's do a little line from there to there looks good to me all right and then by a train and we will give him so he's gonna be picking up uh, I think how many can we do here one two three so just three so we three passenger trains so far and we will deliver them here pick up three more from Clarksville and then deliver them to Bowling Green beauty now this is pretty neat I mean it's kind of unique and I know we can add another station as well um, but I haven't gotten used to this just quite yet but I know enough to do this <laughs> um, okay so let's unpause and start him off and what do we got here oh apply there we go <laughs> all right so there's our passenger train so 
loading up, I guess. Yep, cargo is loading. Okay, so passenger train, that should be going good. Um, we also have here, uh, we can deliver some wheat from San Bruno to Clarksville, I think. So we're going to do that as well. So that should... I don't know why this... Is he... Oh, because we don't have... Okay, I see. So he's just waiting for it to be full. So I guess the default is wait till full. Good to know. Cool. And there he goes. Neat little train, isn't it? This is so, I, this is too big, <laughs> I think, but that's okay. Um, the label when you're like close in, that label's huge. Um, okay, so let's do another track from the wheat field here to Clarksville. I think that will be make us a little bit of money as well. Now, we also want to, and it's one of the goals, if I'm not mistaken. And I want to like hold on, let me. Make sure it's not too curvy here. Yeah, I guess that works. Yeah, that works. Okay. There we go. And, okay, so I want to make sure that I have also, because there's upgrades. Um, let's just buy the train here and I'll explain. So we're making some money here. Uh, we want to get three and then deliver three to here. And I want to deliver it to the small farm so the small farm makes meat and then maybe we can deliver meat someplace else. So if we just deliver it here, it's just delivering it to the city and not... Um, and this is what I was going to talk about and I'll talk about that in just a second. But if we deliver it here, it's not delivering it to the sawmill. I think that's how that works. I'm pretty certain. I'm not sure. but. Uh, I'm going to deliver it here just to be safe. Okay. So those two are rocking and rolling. Uh, let's slow this down a little bit because these are, these goals are, uh, do have a limit. So we have to make sure that we make, th make it in that limit. Um, okay. So what I was going to explain is re repair stations and how to upgrade your stations. And you upgrade your stations just by doing upgrade for $3,000. And this will put on a new uh, new room, I guess they call it. So, and if you look here, we have facilities that we can buy. And these facilities can also be upgraded by this little green arrow here. But uh, what we're doing here is um, we need to construct a repair shop. So we're going to do that. Oh, I actually need to purchase that so now we have enough room for it and then do the repair shop okay so now when you're looking at um, your trains here you have this little green thing here so if you click on it um, it next time it stops at the repair shop it'll repair it and here is the um, health of the engine so all right took me a little while to figure that out as well all right, so we have those two lines running and they seem to be pretty cool. Um, I also want to, we have 37,000. I also wanted to start delivering logs to the sawmill here in Bowling Green. So that should make us some money. So let's do that. And just like that, that seems good. Okay. So I don't want to run out of money too quickly here, because that will end the game and that will not be good. <laughs> okay, so buy a b -b -b train and we're going from Lakeville here, just a two, so three is too many. And then we're going to deliver it to the sawmill, oh, sawmill here. And there we go. All right, we got three really good money making routes, I think. So that should help. Um, now, the other thing that we need to do, um, the technology investment. So what that is, um, and I do want to buy also, make sure I have a repair station here as well. 
Super important these, by the way. Um, now, the technology investment, how we start doing research, and you can see it's grayed out here right now, until we buy, um, until we buy our research and development department in our hometown, it's this red building here. Um, we won't be able to do research, and research is pretty super important. This is a pretty quick. I think this is a pretty quick game. Like it's quick paced. You know, it's not it's not slow. Uh, so we need to upgrade for ten thousand. We have not that much, but I'm going to do it anyways. And it'll say take out overdrive for ten thousand. I I do want to do that, and that's kind of like the loan system, like I said before. And I I because I want to start. I want to start researching as soon as possible. And I know we're making money, so we're. As soon as this gets over 50,000, um, the game's over. So that's another loss condition. Okay, so this is just saying thank you. We can now do um, research. Alright, let's speed this up just a touch because it's going super slow. Alright, now to do research, as you can see our research is now highlighted. We have 10 scientists and we can assign them to anything that says start. Um, so I'm going to do power, I guess, first. Let's do one. And these cost money to start. So let's just do a few of them and get them started. Right, and now over here, this is what we're researching, and this is how many scientists are um, assigned to it, and we can assign more to it here. I'm going to assign five each. So that'll help get our research going um, pretty quick. Okay, and, and another uh, mission uh, popped up after we uh, did our research and development after we bought that um, for engineering success. <laughs> um, so we need to do, we need to research five, five things basically before we, uh, before we end this, uh, this mission goal or the uh, steel, the overall win is to deliver steel to Cincinnati, so we need to do that first. Or we need to, um, we don't need to. So there's some of these that are, um, like I think the gold ones are mandatory. So the gold ones here are mandatory and the silver ones are optional. So we don't need to do this, um, but again, we're gonna get more experience if we do. And uh, I think that's a good thing, right? Right. All right. So we have this coal mine over here near New Orleans, or New Orleans, depending on how you want to pronounce that. And we can actually start delivering. I know we need to deliver coal to um, the steelworks over there, but we can also deliver it here and make some money in the meantime. So, yeah, so we're going to start doing that. Let's go ahead and... Again, I don't want to go over too much, so it's going to cost us Why is this not working? Let's try to get out of there. Go begin. There it goes. <laughs> I just what? I don't know what was going on there. That was weird. A little glitchy. There we go. And this is early access, so there may be some weirdness here and there. So whatever, whatevs. Um, cool. So we're doing very, very good actually. So I think we'll 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 do this pretty quickly. Um, and the key was to make money on the outset, so. Uh, at the beginning. All right, so we need to buy a train. Yes, I do. Thank you. And we're going to deliver. Yes, um, I don't want you to show that because I'm. Because I know I know we're in debt. <laughs> Jeez, you don't have to remind me. So just two there. So we're going to take coal from there, in New Orleans there, and go to deliver it here. 
There we go. Apply. Alright, so T4 is out. Terminator 4 is out. <laughs> um, how many Terminators were there? I don't even remember. I don't even know. Um, and then you can see here too, so like the T4 is green, and then they're kind of getting more yellow as they go on, and they'll get red. That means that that's giving you the um, status of the train health. So I want this one. He has two options to go to, um, to repair. So I'm going to repair next time he goes to this one here at Bowling Green. Um, he'll, he'll sit in there for repair. So that works. That's cool. So yeah, you got to keep up maintenance like that. Um, I don't know if there's a setting that like if the train got maybe under 25%, the next station that it would arrive at that had a repair station, um, that it would repair automatically. I wish there was because that's kind of a kind of probably I I I predict that it's going to be a nuisance. <laughs> it's going to be a little click clicky, you know, too much uh, too much clicking going on for that. Like it's just going to be like a, a clicker game, and I don't I I would assume that nobody wants that right <laughs> all right so I'm just going to is there any other things that we can do here just to get money in the short term now here's the thing so I want to and I don't know the best way of doing this but maybe it's just putting on a new track um, I'd like to deliver passengers from Louisville here to Bowling Green um, but I, I don't want, like, I, I guess it would be all right because it's just, it's not too much traffic on it now. Um, but I don't know what the best thing to do is like do a whole new track going from here to here or extend this track going from New Orleans to Bowling or to, uh, Louise, uh, Louisville. I don't know what's best. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to just... Yeah, I'm just going to extend this because there's not a lot of traffic on there. So we're going to do that. Because I'd like to make more money. And I think that'll be good. How much is it going to cost? 15000 for that and we have twenty. Beauty. I love it. And I, I again, I love that you don't need to put down... Um, that you don't need to put down stations. I, I just find that refreshing for some reason. I don't know. What do you think? Do you like more control of where to put your stations? <clears throat> Excuse me, stations? Or do you like it that it just kind of puts it there for you? I think I like the latter. I think I, I like the way this is doing it. Um, okay. So let's buy a train to go from... Yes. Thank you. To go from here, picking up one, two, three passengers. I think that'll be. I think that'll be good. Deliver them to here. One, two, three. Pick up three from Louisville and go all the way back to Bowling Green and drop them off. Cool. Love it. Cool. So that is T5, and as soon as T4 gets to New Orleans here, T5 will set up, go off on his own there. And there he goes. T5 is off. Cool. I'm super loving this game, by the way. I really, I was looking forward to this, because A, I love anything railroad, any railroad games. Um, this, I, I was watching and I was like, man, that, this, I love the graphics. I like the little, um, like watch when these logs come in here. Um, you'll see the sawmill kind of perk up to life. There it goes. <laughs> Look at that. It's like, what? <laughs> I love it. Okay. Back to what we're doing. All right, so it looks like we're making super good money. So that's good. Now let's on let's go on to the main goals here, and we need to do the iron delivery and coal delivery, and we need to do it, do it pretty quick actually. So we need to deliver coal to Barnstable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out this way and go to Barnstable. 
um, with the track. I think that'll be the best way to do it. Or this way. Let's just come out this way, I think. Yeah, it's just a little, little turn around there. And then over to Barnstable, like so. That's going to cost us 36. Oh, goodness. Well, that's good. That's fine. All right. And let's start delivering. Oh, you know what? I haven't looked at Let's look at our... Oh, we need to start doing these. I want to be super careful of our... So there's one, two, three, four. And um, let's do aging as well. And let's do, let's see, one. Come on now, click on it. There it goes. <laughs> so where do we want to put our one extra? Um, we'll put them on this one here. That's the least research one. Okay. So that should take care of our engineering success. And let's go ahead and put it on the train now. Um, 9,000, we are making money, so I'm not worried about that because the trains are only costing 14,000. And we're making money, so I think we're good there. So let's go ahead and two coal. Bring it over to Barnstable here. Start him on his way. And I also need to buy, because that train will not stop at any um, repair station. So I'm going to have to buy a repair station over here in Barnstable. Um, but that's fine for now. And I also slit the, I think the T2, the next time it comes to one. It'll repair over here at Clarksville. Yep, so that's T2. So next time it goes into Clarksville, it will repair. Okay. Ah. Oh. <laughs> That's, I wonder if it has another animation for when it does get resources. I'm, pretty, I'm sure it probably does. Alright, so that's that. Now, I think we have enough to go ahead and do the ore mine here. The iron ore mine to Barnstable as well. Because we are running out of time on these, but I think, I think we're good. I'm going to get rid of that and that just so we can concentrate on the things that we need so let's go ahead and start a rail from there to there and all the way to get our iron ore oh it's gonna cost a lot of money dear me well should be fine it'll be fine not a problem and let's go ahead and, uh, what the heck, get a train. Let's, let's go for broke. Let's go for almost broke, I should say. <laughs> All right. Oh, it can only do one. Wow. All right, definitely need to get that on as soon as possible. Okay. Yeah, we'll be just fine. We'll be good. So this is fast paced. Um, not fast paced. Not, not like you can't think about the you know whatever. I mean, cause you can pause it and whatnot. Um, but it's more so far that I've seen like the scenario. Like you could just go through the scenario, and it's it's a lot quicker than this gradual building, like a tycoon building. It's more strategy, I think. But I like it. I mean, I, I, it's it's refreshing and it's different. I think. I don't know. What do you th what do you guys uh, put down in the comments? What do you guys think it's more m more like? What kind of what kind of like railroad tycoon or railroad empire or maybe? I mean, I know it's not like Machinki. Oops. Excuse me. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Um, anyways, what I was saying is like, uh, what do you guys think it's like? Like Railroad Tycoon, like Sid Meier's Railroad Tycoon, um, Railroad Empire, or I think it's probably more like Railroad Empire, even though I don't 
not too fond of that game. I like that game, but I'm not as fond of it as other railroad games. Or like Machinki. I, mean, I know it's not like Machinki. Machinki is a completely different beast. Um, but you know that's my favorite, right? <laughs> you just look at my channel, how many Machinki uh, videos that I have. Anyways. But yeah, which one do you think it's like? Or something that I haven't mentioned. I don't know. Because I'm sure there's more out there. Alright, we're doing super good. And so 4 out of 5 on the coal. Nice. 1 out of 10. So that needs to get really quickly settled. But I think we're good because we're, we're going back and forth. And it's only a very short distance. So I think we're good. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> All right, and then the only other thing, um, we, and we can't do it, I mean, we can do it now, but the only other thing is to build a rail from Barnstable. By the way, is this, let's see what happens here. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's another animation. Because it has, well, I guess the smoke coming out the top, maybe, was that there before? I don't know. Oh, there it goes. Cool. Haha, <laughs> it's neat. <laughs> I love it. Okay, anyways, enough putzing around here. I think we have enough to go ahead and build a rail in anticipation for the next goal there. So. Oh, we can actually build it off of... Oh, and I didn't know that. I thought you just had to take it off of the... Uh... Hmm. We'll have to explore that a little bit more, but for now we're just going to do this. Make it completely another... Completely new rail. All the way up to Cincinnati. And there we go. That's going to be 38,000. We got enough. We're good. All right. How is that passenger train doing? You know what? I don't see, and maybe it's just me, but I don't see stats, like financial stats for the trains anywhere. I'm not really sure where to get those. Because we got specs, but that's like the characteristics of the train. Yeah, that's just fuel consumption, mileage, da 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 da. It doesn't give you any financial stats. Like, is it making money? What's going on with it? Um, and I don't see, to be honest, I don't see. Um, yeah, I don't see. Oh, that's to get to the home office. Look at that. <laughs> Shortcut. Who knew? Um, yeah, that's trains. That's a list of the buildings. Ah, reports. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, but I don't see it for the train, so I just see... Oh. Well, that's nice. Okay. It's better. Train upkeep. Depreciation upkeep. Yeah, profit loss. So that's profit loss per... Per diem? No, per quarter. So this is the current quarter that we're in. Yeah, that's... I mean, that works. But I'd like to see it per train as well. Which would be great. Again, early access, maybe they're planning on putting something like that in. Or, I'm just not seeing it. Maybe that's it. You know, that could be completely, you know, like I said, I bought the game today. I put in about an hour's worth of play, and I was like, okay, we're going to put this up on YouTube because I want everybody to see it. Because <laughs> I am I, I really like it, to be honest with you. It's an, it's an honest opinion. I'm not being paid for that, obviously. Um... But, um, yeah, I'm super excited about it. Okay, so iron ore delivery, so 5 out of 10. Oh, we're going to cut it close here, guys. Come on, speed it up. How's our research doing, by the way? Yeah, so we, we're good for there. Might as well do a few more, right? Why not? Why not? Put five five on each of these. Yeah, and over time, 
um, if you can see like the the uh, the towns and uh, everything demand different things so if that if that is what's this guy doing so he's he's iron oh I see his burst oh, never mind I thought it was a different town I'm going crazy seven eight I think eight's coming in eight just no seven just came in so pick up the pace, buddy. Come on, T7. Let's uh, pick up the pace ourselves in the game here. Oh, I hope I didn't leave this too long. And I don't know, I mean, I could probably put on another train, but I mean, it's kind of too late for that as well. And I think we'll make it. So we're eight, so we only have two more to do. Cutting it super close. 39 days, 37, 36, 35. Come on, buddy. Don't let me down. Choo choo, buddy. Choo choo. Choo choo. Oh, man, this is cutting it close. Come on, buddy. You have 24. Let's, I think every day is in. It feels like one day is uh, one second when you're in a super speed mode. Come on, man. You have 15 seconds. You can do it. Pressure's on. <laughs> oh, so close. Eight, seven, six. <sighs> Thank you. Let's slow it down again. Let's go medium speed. Okay. So we have delivered steel to Cincinnati. We have plenty of time to do that. Um, all we need to do is get a train and start doing that. So. We're get, taking steel from here. We can only do one at a time. That's okay. And then we're delivering it. Again, make sure we do the quest one. All right. So every train comes out of our home station, by the way. And I wonder if it's possible to get like another home station. It, it may be uh, to another town in later scenarios, but so far I've not seen that. But again, don't take my, uh, don't take my observations for what's, <laughs> what's going to be in the end, or what's going to be in the game and what's not going to be in the game, because I may not know. What are you waiting for, buddy? Oh, okay. Must have been waiting for the other train to go into the station? I don't know. Okay, so we're just gonna speed this up and get this last goal out of the way. Okay, so this should be it. This should be the last goal here. Nice, there we go. All right, success, yay. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you liked it. Um, I'm really super excited to see how this game develops in early access, and um, I'm, I'm already loving it. So this, this the uh, the missions are pretty cool. I saw like a sandbox mode, but it wasn't, um, it wasn't accessible yet, so you can't do that. But uh, apparently, since there's a button there, I would assume <laughs> it's coming in uh, future updates and whatnot. But uh, yeah, I'm really liking it. So Railroad Corporation, two thumbs up for me. All right, guys, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, because I will be doing a series on this very shortly. This was only a first look. If you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell icon, as you do. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for coming along for the ride. So see you guys next time. Bye for now.